What's up, my Virgos? Welcome to Black Madonna HP Table Etiquette. We're getting ready to get into the vibe. Your beloved wants you to know whether it's love or work, crazy people in your life, crazy world, whatever. Let's see the message beloved has for you. You have third chakra archangel Shamua here. So you, you could still be healing from a heartbreak or you're healed from a heartbreak or something like that. But you definitely have an angel with you at this time. Thank you, beloved, for that. But beloved, what's the overall energy for the reading for Virgo, please? What's the overall energy for the reading for Virgo, please? Ooh, we... I don't know how to take it. <laughs> but I guess I'm meant to take them all, Virg. You have Jesus, Man, Helen, Heart, and Daughter Spirit. And then you have Envy on the other side. Take that how that applies. I don't know which of these to take. So I'm going to put them back in the deck and see if something else come out. But, um, yeah, that's a lot of... Love is telling me to take the cards. So I'm going to take them. And see how those energies show up in this reading. What side should we put them on, beloved? Let's put them over here. I think I have enough room if I put them over there. So you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But definitely Jesus don't show up. <laughs> Jesus don't show up in your reading already, Virg. So, yeah. You, and then you had Archangel Shamuel. You got the door to spirit. Oh, my goodness. So, it's definitely some divine going on. But the, what worries me is the envy card. Like, who's jealous of Bird? Bird don't mess with nobody. Bird be trying to help everybody. Huh, Bird? Let's see what's up. Beloved, what's the message you have for Virgo, please? What's the message you... Okay, I'm going to put them like this. Because I know how I need to lay out my cards. I'm sorry, Virg. Give me one moment. All right. All right. So what's the message you have for Virgo, please, beloved? Thank you so much. The Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords want to flip out, so you ended something. It's a new beginning for you in some situation, Virgo. The Knight of Wands want to flip out. What is going on, Virg? Let's go ahead and hop into this reading and see what's going on with all this spiritual energy so wow this is that envy energy at the um center of the reading you got the seven of swords is someone watching you Berg? hide your kids hide your wife because something they they sneaking in your window um beating your people up however that's that old song used to go but it's kind of that vibe Berg. crossing is you Virgo the hermit okay at the foundation the seven of cups and the recent past the six of Pentacles could be one of those people um, crown the reading is the eight of wands and let's see here in the near future what's up with Virg beloved Oh, no, Virg. The Five of Cups. So I don't know if this is your energy or if this is someone around you or... Ah, because at the bottom of the deck, you got the Hierophant. What's interesting about what I'm noticing right now is on this Five of Cups energy, it's like a curio. You guys remember curios and stuff. Some of you guys still have um, curios or whatever. Um, other of you guys, it was the things that you used to put your um, china in, your crystals and all that type of stuff, crystal glasses. But this person's like in mourning over it. Friends, family members, you know, people that's no longer with them. And here it's showing up as pictures of people. So let's see where this goes, Bert. <laughs> So, I'm going to use another deck to clarify the energy. But, wow, envy, huh? Dang, is it that bad out here? I just don't get it. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. Social media and all this stuff. I even hear it sometimes when I'm trying to watch tarot. I don't care if you, you know, you got a million subscribers. The next person got five. Like, the way people are nowadays are just so, I don't know, weird. Because to me, it's like... 
you know, you're supposed to be running your own race, your own journey. So what the next person do, doing doesn't matter. If the next person is doing better than you, it doesn't matter because you're running your own race. Like, um, I was listening to Napoleon Hill, and you guys get that book, Think and Grow Rich, if you ain't got it. Okay, Virgos, because y'all are queen of pinnacles. Y'all about money. If you want to know about money, uh, get the book, Think and Grow Rich, right? But, um... It talked about kind of no matter where you go, there's always someone there. Like if you go to a corner store, you know someone's going to be there to serve you like, um, you know, your candy or whatever. If you go to the gas station, there's going to be a gas station attendant. And, you know, if you go to a grocery store. But, like, when you think about, you know, when you go, like, um, on with your day, it's always somewhere, someone at the places that you go and visit. And he was basically saying, what well, it's not that they don't... Um, want bigger or think bigger but it's like we all have a place or position in life and the ones that grow rich is because they think they can or they they their mindsets are set up different and stuff like that but we all have a place that we need to be in this world we can't all all be like today's martin luther king day we can't all be martin luther king some of us got to be jesse jackson you know we can't all be like whatever you understand what i'm saying we all have a place and a, a, a journey and a destiny for our lives. It's not about everybody else. Like, so this envy card really bothers me in your reading. What's going on, Burke? At the bottom of your deck, you got the damn tower. What's up? So let's see here. The seven of cups. You got the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. You know, Burke, you got a lot of stuff that's going on. You could even be, like, very tired or something, Bird, just because you got um, so many different things on your plate, on the menu. Um, it's like you're always busy. But you know what, Bird? You are very prosperous. But I feel like, I don't know, you, play, you used to play the back row. I'm going to tell you a prime example of a Virgo that, or Virgos, a list of Virgos that pay background, even though they the shit, okay? Let's talk about Beyonce. She's a Virgo, okay? She plays background all the time. Unless she's on stage or she's working, you don't hear about Beyonce, you know, being out and about and Beyonce did this, Beyonce did that. No, Beyonce stay very low key, okay? Taraji, um, um, Taraji Henson. You don't really hear about Taraji. Taraji is one of the, the uh, famous actors of our time. You don't hear about Idris Alba. You don't hear about, you understand what I'm saying? Those that's in the light, they it's because they want to be in the light. Like, I don't even know what Kanye West sign is. I think he's a Libra, but I doubt if he's a Libra. He seemed more like a Gemini, um, a Leo or something like that. No offense to my Gemini's Leo, but Virgos are known to be play the background position. Virg can be sitting like this because if you look at his feet, he got tons of jewelry or whatever, right? He got them three pinnacles and that one pinnacle. But in this energy, oh, oh, that's what's going on with this envy card. I had to see the synchronicities. So it's ironic that this is a male and this is a female, right? But I'm looking at the difference in energies, right? It's like he's in the inside of this house or vice versa, and she's in on the outside of the house. But from where he's standing, you know, this is what it looks like the outside world looks to him. From where she's standing, this is what his world looked like to her. Take it out of the place, Bird, take it out of the place. But, um, there could be, I don't know, you could have a, a someone that's jealous, could be a male, um, could be an ex, could be a current person or something that's en envious of you. Let's hope not. That just sucks when you have, it don't matter, Ver, because you have so much, um, so much, uh, uh, spiritual, spiritual, um, protection around you. I mean, whoever messed with you, <laughs> they going to be stopped or, or whatever. It's going to work out for your good anyway, okay? Might hurt a little bit from what I can see, but yeah. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. 
So you're going from a four of pentacles to a six of pentacles. Okay, so these two people are playing music. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's giving away money to like the musicians or the street artists or whatever they're called, right? It's like, oh, here we go. One second, Bert. You try to get my vibe up. Mm. But um, that just kills it sometimes. But um, it's like. I don't know. It's like, you know, Virg, you always doing good stuff for for people or whatnot. It's like maybe in the past you helped somebody or something like that. Like you were trying to be good to people. Um, you were doing humanitarian work, human services, or something like that. Maybe you were working in a community organization. Um, maybe maybe I don't know. In the in the past you came up off of some dough or something. Maybe you were helping your family, your friends or something out. But I see that there's this energy around you, Bird. <coughs> Excuse me. There's this energy around you, Virgo, that still was adoring you, admiring you or something with that the way she's looking at those fishes, Bird. It's like this and there was this energy around you that was admiring you, adoring you thinking about you, wanting you, um, just kind of like wanting to be in your energy, wanting to be in your vibe or something, Bert. I'm sorry, you guys know how YouTube is. You, yeah. I'm so sorry. Why the interruption? So there had to be some type of interruption in the in the past for whatever you were trying to do. And, uh, do. You could have been, like I said, doing some type of humanitarian work, some type of human services, social services, socialism, something like that. And, and there was like some type of interruption that happened in the past, Bert. Especially with the Seven of Swords. What was this interruption? What was this interruption? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, damn, yep. That'll do it every time, Bird. The Three of Swords. You know what? Now, this is interesting. I'm going to tell you why. Is this energy somebody hiding it like this man holding a heart energy? Is this this person? Is this this person heart? That's like trying to hide from you how they how they're hurting over you or something like that. How they need like healing um, or something. Is that why Jesus endured the spirit? That, is that why God is all over this board right now? Either this person's trying to hurt you and hurt themselves, or they hurt you real, real bad, Virgo. It's like this. This. This was like it. Like crept up on you or something, Virgo. But I think you being the Virgo that you are, I think the reason why you're here because you probably transmuted that energy, Virgo. Yeah, you transmuted that energy. Whatever you did, you went and got a Herman Mo, got smarter, got wiser. Lady Justice. Why am I getting Lady Justice? In a different way, though. You know how the justice card is? Like, you you know that somebody is either A, calling justice, or for, for this to be a major arcana that's coming out. One of the first major arcana coming out with you, Virg. I feel like this was powerful. Something, something at the root of whatever you've been through was so powerful. It created like a shift or a vibration or some type of volcano-like energy in your life or something. Something changed. Something shifted. Something is not the same. Something definitely shifted. Catalytic proportions. Hmm. What's the eight of wands here? What's going on, Virk? Is this your energy? Or is this up this man holding heart energy? Okay? Cause why is it the nine of swords and the eight of wands? Like, are you stressing over talking to somebody or is somebody stressing over talking to you? Cause it seemed like you chilling. It don't seem like you stressed out. 
you didn't have no sores. You were in a in an energy of 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 you know having too much on your plate to deal with. You know, trying to take care of your finances, your funds, your business, your job, your house, your home, your family members, the community, people. You know. I don't feel like this is you, Virg. I feel like this is somebody that you deal with or dealt with. If this man holding a heart wasn't here, I would say that this is you, Virg. But because that man holding a heart is there, and I feel like this is this person's heart that they trying to hide from you, how they really feel, this is this person. There go that interruption. This person could have been a, a major, major interruption in your life, or this person had a major wake-up call. Or something like that, Berg. This is this person stressed out. Are you not talking to this person, Berg? Or what's going on with this energy? I'm hearing that song because they're on this roller coaster and that arrow's pouring down. I'm hearing that song. I'm going down because you ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down. Yeah, Berg, I feel like this is... The this is your person's energy. Yeah. This is this person, Berg, that feels this way about you. This Five of Cups and this Strength card. Like, you know what's interesting? I don't understand why. What are they envious of, Berg? You know, when you're dealing with a person that's, that's envious of you, like, the energy is so, like, crazy. The five of cup and the strength card. So let me get this straight. This person is like they real messed up about you. The three of swords, nine of swords, five of cups, right? But then with the strength card, so let me see. You're going to sit there and cry and be sad, but you're going to hold back and not let Virgo know how you feel. You're going to try to hide it from Virg. Like, that's your own detriment. Let's, since this person's feeling some type of way, let me get these cards out. And see what they're feeling. Because that envy card, wow. This person's envious of what? Of your humanitarian abilities? You're a damn Virgo. How's this person feeling about Virgo? How's this person feeling about Virgo, please? Fulfilled in reverse. Surprised in reverse. Irritated. And frustrated at the bottom of the deck. What's behind frustrated? Free. Yeah, they frustrated because you ain't like. It's not the same with you anymore. They thought. They thought that um, they could just do whatever. And Virgo would never leave. Everybody get fed up after a while. But yeah, irritated, fulfilled, and surprised in reverse. So this person don't know what to do. It's bothering them with this irritation energy. That's why they're in that nine of swords energy, Virgo. I think I think they they know what they did. That's why they're not surprised that you're not messing with them right now, Bert. Wow. But that's that tower. That's that awakening. That look at that. The, the tower, the eight of swords, and death, and the king of swords. So you went cold on this person. You got very analytical when you went into your hermit mode. Whatever, you guys had this ending with them. It put them in this Eight of Swords energy in this tower. I'm telling you, like, it was um something, like I said, catalytic. Like, something shifted. It was a shift. Like, maybe you used to feel like this, Ferg. And now it's them feeling this way, you know? But let me get you a message from Zoltar. Close out this reading. Thank you, beloved, for showing up in the reading. But beloved, what message do you have for Virgo? What message do you have for Virgo, please? What message do you have for Virgo, please? And I'm going to let you interpret your own um, fortune. So um, that's what your fortune looks like, Virgo. And it says, unexpected wealth will arrive. Remember, he is riches who is content with the least, for content is the wealth of nature. Although you may look for riches, realize that wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. When riches come, do not forget that man's true wealth is the good he does in the world. So when opportunity knocks, grab it. It is 
easy at any moment to resign the possessions of great fortune. To acquire it is difficult and audacious. Your lucky number, Virgo, is 15, 40, 4, 37, 23, and 7. Okay? But either way, Virgo, that's the message I have for you. I thank you guys so much for tapping in. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely check that description box down below. I do offer personal readings, and I also offer um, tarot cards. You can find those in my SD shop, Black Madonna HP. Also, don't forget to sh check out that shop tab. I do have Divine Feminine Tees, Divine Masculine Tees, Twin Flame Tees, and Sweaters, all that good stuff, Zodiac Tees and Sweaters. So definitely check it out. But until next time, Virg, love, peace, and soul. Take care.